Things are cold, wet, and rainy outside, so we move indoors to McAlexander Fieldhouse at Oregon State University for the Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Challenge presented by Ram. I'm Robbie Floyd alongside Super Dave Jewett. This is McAlexander Fieldhouse, and it is hopping. These guys are already getting great. Yeah, 12 competitors here. They're all talking about one, though. We saw him from Flathead Community College last year. Gavin Lamont, he's representing Montana State this year. Remember last year, he only lost by a few points running an old-fashioned factory, factory-made cross-cut saw. He has a laser-cut hand-filed saw this year. Tough white pine, top-notch gear. And he says, Dave, I'm calm. That's what you want. 12 guys to watch, but only one moves on later on this year to compete in the championship. That's the big leagues there. That's right, two chopping events, two sawing events. Consistency, Robbie. All right, let's get things started. First up, it's the stock saw. Stock saw event takes two equally matched, identically tuned 660s and makes the operator be the only variable. Before the contest, the saws are given the same fuel, they've got the same amount of hours on the engines, they have the same factory chains. So that the idea being, as soon as you hear the gun, the operator is responsible for getting the saw to the wood fastest, getting the saw through the wood fastest, and getting two cookies on the deck. Uh Patrick Bodekheimer from Salem, Oregon, competing with Oregon State University in the Majors Forest Operations Management. Trying to do it for the hometown fans, Patrick Bodingheimer, the senior out of Oregon State University, goes up against Gavin Lomach. They call him the Macho Man. We'll see how he can do. Gavin Lamotte returns to the Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Challenge after finishing second in the 2011 Western Regional Qualifier, where a shaky stock saw run cost him a shot at the championship. Boy, almost, yeah, almost a jump gun there, Robbie. Didn't mean to talk over him. The time to beat a 14.07. We've got several 14s, but who can get under 14? Big bobble by Patrick. Yeah, Gavin. Oh, and a missed cut as well. Gavin was a little slow on the changeover, more of a sure cut. I think before the event, he said, you know what, just two clean cuts. He's such a strong chopper. He doesn't need to win the stock saw. Lamosh's time is good enough for third place in the stock saw. And on stand one, Patrick Bodigheimer is disqualified after cutting out on his second disc. Coming up, the battle for Western chopping supremacy continues as the axes come out and the best beards in the country are on full display. Standing block, a tough one. It is an event where you're mimicking what they used to do in the woods in terms of falling trees, but you're trying to get in the pattern and put in good sloping hits and driving hard into that pine. Big, huge chips, put in a six or eight hit front and get around and then punch the block off just ferocious anger and power. Sitting in third place, Montana State's Gavin Lamash takes on Shasta College Lumberjack Wesley Palmer, who's in second. My name is Gavin Lamash. I'm from Columbia Falls, Montana, and I'm going to school at Montana State University for electrical engineering. So this should be another good matchup, a two and three going out of Shasta College's Wes Palmer and Montana State's Gavin Lomach. I mean, these guys are very, very much in the hunt. Yeah, Gavin Lomach, I tell you, look at this. It's not even close. He's played his accuracy, he's beautiful. He's got beautiful swing, but that log is not shifting. That chip hanging there. See those chips hanging? Dangerous, but he's opened up too big of a chip. It's a 12-inch log, and looks like he's, uh, he's opened up a 16-inch chip and two scary scoops on the upswing. And then you look at Wes Palmer. I mean, very narrow. I mean, he really has to open that up. I mean, he's going to be going it straight at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not going to go anywhere with that. I don't care how strong you are. Again, I want to look at Gavin Lamont. His face very, very calm. He's letting the axe do the work. He's not absorbing the energy of the axe in his body, all the energy going into the log. So again, these guys finished second and third in the first discipline. Right now, you have to see Wes Palmer's kind of shooting himself in the foot a bit, but still going at it. Gavin Lomach, as he finishes the wood, a third, maybe another third, it keeps you in the hunt. Robbie, look at the front side of that log, the upslope of Gavin Lamach. It is so steep. Now you look at the surface area he had to cover. He had to cover about 16 inches of wood to get to the center of that log. That's way too much slope. It should be about 45 degrees, and then you know what? Just too much wood to shift. Gavin Lamach's time of 56 puts him in third in Ram overall points behind David Govea and Cal Poly's Mitchell Richardson. Oh, Sam's gonna, he's gonna kill it. He's gonna kill it. He's gonna tear that wood apart. 
Closing out the single buck, a competitor with possibly the most raucous cheering section, Humboldt State's Sam Tennyson, taking on Montana State's Gavin Lamash, who must finish in the top three to remain in contention for the championship. Yes, yeah, Gavin is the dark horse. He is talented, he is big, he is strong, and he is focused. He comes from a team with a tradition of training and getting better, and I, I'm glad to see that paying off. Hopefully he can stay strong in the last two events. So Gavin Lamach, he seems calm all day, but look at this, he's, he's focused in this event. He's visualizing this, he's a good Sawyer. He's got the spikes on, he's standing back from the log, but you know what? He should have more saw away from him, be able to pull the whole saw on that first stroke. And stop looking at the competitor ahead of him, and look at that saw. And, uh, it's not going to happen for Gavin Lamach. He's 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 healing the saw. I don't know, Dave. No, I don't know. I mean, that's a that's a mid stroke, but he only has to finish top two. He doesn't have to necessarily win this. Thing. That's a good point, Robbie. He's past the halfway mark now. Now he's cutting better. He lost time on the beginning on the top of the uh, you, log. You feeling me now, Dave? I'm feeling you now. I don't know. I think that could be it. It is going to be enough to take the lead at 21:68. Sam Tennyson's rowdy following is not enough to propel him to a win over Montana State's Gavin Lamont, who with that win in the single buck jumps to the top of the leaderboard in Ram overall points. When we return, a three-way showdown to decide who'll move on to the Steel Timber Sports Collegiate Championship. Today, the Western Regional Qualifier will be decided in the underhand chop. Mitch Richardson's time of just over 37 seconds gives him sole possession of first place in the underhand. Now all Richardson can do is watch from the sidelines as the current overall Ram Points leader, Gavin Lamash, steps to his underhand block. At this point, it's Lamash's match to lose. Gavin finishes his underhand chop in under 63 seconds. He will be headed to the championship. Boy, is Gavin Lamont focused. He had his eyes closed during the 3-2-1 countdown. This dude is awesome, man. Look at him. He's so relaxed. Throws that axe out, drawing it in, snapping his wrist. This guy's cutting beautiful, and he just doesn't seem to have a care in the world. To win outright, he needs to finish under 58 seconds. For a tie, he needs to finish under 63 seconds. He makes that turn. He looks smooth. He's right on his line. Yeah, Robbie, he turned around the 23-second mark. Look at that axe. Suits the wood, he has to reach down farther. He's gonna to wanna to go into two and two. Leave the top alone, he's got through the top. He is gonna, he's gonna be close, Robbie. There he goes, he's gotta get that bottom wood out, make sure that log comes off. Taking short strokes and it looks like it's gonna happen. Not our quickest time of the day, but it's gonna be quick enough to win the overall. Sam Tennyson still fighting through his wood, but smiles for Gavin Loma. Boy, Gavin was so focused. I, I couldn't believe I'm watching him. His eyes were closed during the countdown. He Then all of a sudden, they went wide open. He threw that ax up to the sky, pulled it in, and there was no looking back. It's time for the Ram Guts and Glory moment. He lost time on the beginning, on the top of the uh, you, log. You feeling me now, Dave? I'm feeling you now. I don't know. I think that could be it. It is going to be enough to take the lead at 21.68. The Ram Guts and Glory moment. Guts, Glory, Ram. Gavin Lamash wins the 2012 Western Regional Qualifier. He'll be moving on to the Steel Collegiate Challenge Championship presented by Ram, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee.